I heard the noise and I it was like vibrating the house and stuff and it only happened for like five seconds and I was really like scared. I literally was like covering my ears like, oh my God, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This is it, this is my final moment. As soon as I heard about the collapse this morning was how many people were on the bridge. So I can't imagine what they're dealing with right now. It's really scary to be honest, you know, I'm just, I've never experienced something like this. It's actually got me like trembling and stuff. So it's a little bit traumatic. At 1.30, I like woke up and I heard the noise and I it was like vibrating the house and stuff and it only happened for like five seconds and I was really like scared. I literally was like covering my ears like, oh my God, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This is it, this is my final moment. But then like a few seconds later, it stopped and I was waiting for it to happen again because that would be the time that I woke up my mom and it didn't happen again. So I just was like, yeah, oh, must have been like a jet or something. So I went back to sleep. And then um, my little brother, he woke me up. He was literally like kind of shaking me a bit. And in the most calm voice ever, he said, hey, uh, the key bridge fell. And I was like, oh my God, is everybody okay? Is, is everybody all right? And he was like, well, there's a search party going on. I was like, is dad all right? Cause my dad's like a truck driver and he usually like goes like through the key bridge. And he was like, and he was like, oh, he's fine. And I thought that was kind of like a silly question cause my dad was asleep at the time and he goes to work at like, six six thirty seven at, at least and i was just flabbergasted so i went down the stairs and my mom was like you know in the bathroom so i like literally looked up the thing online and i saw the footage and i was like oh my god and then i literally just like me and my mom were just like talking about it like the the entire rest of the morning before she had to go to work and stuff and it was just like it's it's really scary to be honest you know i'm just I've never experienced something like this that's actually got me like trembling and stuff. So it's a little bit traumatic, but I just hope that the key bridge, you know, helps and, you know, gets fixed and stuff. My prayers and thoughts are definitely with the families. I can't imagine what they're going through. That was my first thought as soon as I heard about the collapse this morning was how many people were on the bridge. So I can't imagine what they're dealing with right now. Um, I know it's gonna rock the community. Uh, I've already seen online a lot of um, posts sharing people's experiences. So the impact that that's going to have is substantial. People that live in this community, their grandparents and their parents helped build that bridge 47 years ago. And it just hit its birthday this month. So uh, there's a lot of sentimentality in the community. I'm seeing a lot of people post um, their memories their look backs, the opening days of the bridge, uh, their experiences boating and going under the bridge, uh, even singing the national anthem um, and just being very patriotic.